On this episode of Shop Week Hennessy, I'm here with Diane Garrison of Hennessy Lumber. Garrison Lumber. Garrison Lumber. It used to be Hennessy Lumber. It did used to be Hennessy Lumber. And then Lumber. you guys bought it and That's right. made it better. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> some some really cool things that very few people know about is that you were the president of the what is it? The first female president of what was that? It's the Oklahoma Lumberman's Association. Okay. But I was not the first female president, sorry. Okay. Um, Joe, my husband, was actually the president of the Oklahoma Lumberman's Association right. in 1998. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I was the president in 2016. Husband and wife thing. And we were the first husband and wife to ever Whoa, serve. Oh, yes. very cool. And I hope I kept those dates right. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll fact Nobody check will later. Fact yeah, check. yeah, a fake, fake <laughs> news thing. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a lumberyard guy. Okay, but this is not just a lumber yard. I mean, this is like this, the cool, old school, creaky floor uh, hardware store, I guess would be a better description. And you sell lumber. Yes. But, so what, why did, how in the world did this start? Well, of course, as you said, it was Hennessy Lumber from, I think the 1800s um, is when it first went in, mm -hmm. late 1800s, I think. Um, there's been a lumber yard here, I believe it, may have been called Richardson Lumber before that. You might want to fact Maybe. check me on that too. Okay. Um, Scotty Hype will correct us. Yes, Scotty Hype ahead. will correct us. Um, but Joe, my husband, actually grew up in the lumber business. His dad uh, managed lumber yards Joe's entire life in southwestern Oklahoma. And um, so he grew up with sawdust in his blood. Joe went to college and got an industrial arts degree from Southwestern uh, Oklahoma State University, taught industrial arts at Midwest City High School for about six years in the early 70s. Um, and then uh, during the summers while he was teaching, uh, he would work uh, on the dock for a wholesale lumber distributor in Oklahoma City. Oh, wow. And um, in Late 1978, they approached him, and the sales job for Northwest Oklahoma came available. Mm -hmm. And so he took that job, left teaching, took that job, and began selling lumber, material, lumber and building materials wholesale over, all over Northwest Oklahoma, which landed him in Enid. Yep. And then um, I met Joe in 1984. You were a Hennessy we, girl. Yes, okay. I grew up in Hennessy. Met him at church. Mm -hmm. um, we started dating in 1985, got married in 1987. Um, Joe's company that he'd worked for for 13 years selling across Northwest Oklahoma was sold out to mm -hmm. a larger uh, distributor. Mm -hmm. And so they didn't need all those employees and so he was in search of a job. And so we had a good friend who was a contractor in Enid mm -hmm. at that time um, and his uncle happened to own this lumber yard. And I seem to remember that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. His now name, now it's my era. Yes, okay, go his ahead. His name was Mr. Everett, mm -hmm. and he lived in uh, the Kansas City area, and he was looking to sell his yards. And so his nephew, who was our good friend, came to us and said, would you ask Joe if he would like to manage this yard um, for a year with the option to buy? Well, I can remember he came in as he was the manager, yes. and everyone thought it was just Joe, the Joe Lumber guy, Lumber guy had no <laughs> idea of his background. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Very and cool. so he came in in 1990 and managed it for a year, and we actually bought it in June of 1991, and so we just celebrated our 31st year in business this Ooh, past cool. June. Yes. Wow. So. Well, congratu congratulations. Yeah. That there will probably be cake or something. You know, know. we'll work <laughs> on that later. But how do you do it? What do you have like? 5,000, 6,000 SKUs in here. I mean, this is this is a big deal. We have a lot. We just try to make it one-stop shopping. Um, mm -hmm. That's our goal. Um, you know, when the big box went into Enid, however many years ago that was, um, you know, that could have been really distressing, but uh, Joe just looked at it as an opportunity for us to find our niche, mm -hmm. and, um, and so we did. And hopefully our desire is that we can um, kill you with mm -hmm. customer service and have you in and out of here with what you need faster it's than important you, you never hit it. the door without someone ready to help you I so you're so. not wandering i like That's to wander because i like to look at stuff but yes. uh, you know i'm i'm a self-proclaimed contractor i had a, a um my contractor license for many years in enid when i, I built our own studios and things like that and the, i don't think 
there's very few times I come in here and don't go out with what I'm needing. I mean, it is like probably one of the best stocked small town lumber yards or, or hardware stores I've ever been in. Thank you. Very, very cool. I commend you guys on what you've been able to keep the stock because you go into a lot of little small town uh, businesses like this and the shelves are half full and well, I can order that and it'll be here in two weeks. Well, I can go to Lowe's and get it today. Right. You know, so this is this is very, very helpful for right. a small town. Right. Yeah. And when they, there again, when Lowe's went in, that's when we really got heavy in the hardware yep. um, because we realized that, um, you know, that's where our niche should be also. Right. I think, you know, the average person has that knee-jerk reaction. I got to go to a big city to get it. And you really don't. I mean, everything, not kidding, everything is here. You know, it, we try, yeah. and if we can't, if we don't have it, we're we have a truck that comes in weekly, and we're happy to try to order mm -hmm. it for you if we can find it. Very, very so. cool. Anything new and exciting? I mean, I, I guess the hardware business isn't like new, improved. It's pretty <laughs> kind of a stable and diehard kind of a yeah. kind of a business. But. Um, probably, um, and you've covered that for us before. The newest line that we have in are just our Traegers. Um, That's right. We're new in that, mm -hmm. um, Darren Herrick, our manager, is very well versed. Um, in being able to help people. He has several of them himself. And so he- I think the only thing missing there is he needs to be cooking in the parking lot every week, you know, to show us how yeah. this stuff works. I yeah. mean, hmm? what do you think? <laughs> and I mean, and, and you're not here a lot. You have obligations and you have an amazing staff. I yes. mean, they actually know stuff. Yes, we could not um, make it without David and Darren. They are, they, they are just, they're fantastic. They're such a blessing. To us, so. And then I guess during the summer you have some high school boys that help out yes. occasionally. Well, and... we haven't, we didn't this summer, but we uh, for years uh, had, Joe affectionately called it the Garrison College Scholarship Fund. You know, <laughs> we would have kids come to, young men come to work for us. In fact, well, I can't say young men because Darren's daughter worked for us last summer and did a fantastic job. There you go. Um, come and work the summers and we had several that I can like, Corey Riddle, Grayson Russell, uh, you go back to Jeremy Seeger, Brian Franklin, we had kids that worked, Rusty Richards, yep. worked, uh, started in high school and worked all the way through college. Mm -hmm. And so. Very, very cool. I wanna point this out that, that, and I don't wanna open up a, a can of worms here, but you know, there are some businesses in town that are truly about the town, and then there are others, and I know when we were, when I was really active in the music, with the musicals and things like that, you guys went out of your way to help contribute, deliver, what, come down on a weekend, because oh my gosh, the, the, the place tomorrow and some, we need something. Mm -hmm. And there's something about local ownership and uh, truly caring about the community. And you guys have always, always stepped up. Well, thank you. Anything you know, that, that the town needs. We, we try to do that, especially the school. Joe served on the school board for nine years. And, um, and I mean, of course, I was, music was big in my life whenever I was yep. in high school. And so. Mm -hmm. um, and I know even the town, if they've got like this disastrous water leak going, you know, you're down here helping them find some kind of plumbing parts or something to get the water back on. So. Right. Nothing worse than being out of water. Yeah. So. <laughs> Call Diane, quick, where's the key? Well, awesome, thank you so much. So yes. what are your hours and give us your address. Oh, okay, we're at 300 North Main here in Hennessy, mm -hmm. across from the park. And um, our hours are Monday through Friday, 7.30 to five. Very appreciative of um, all of our customers that come in and this is a great community to live in, we love it. Thank you, thank you for all you've done for our community. Stay tuned. <laughs>